where do we go from here? Wait, wait, hold up. What's the problem? Can't you hear the audio issue? I'm sounding like you. You're sounding like me. Really? Is Talus playing around with our audio issue just like they were with Bally Sports South tonight when we were trying to watch the Preds game? Ah, uh, that's better with the audio issue. I sound like myself again. Thanks to an audio glitch on Talus TV up here in British Columbia, instead of watching the entire game on Bowie Sports South, through most of it, I got stuck with the abs feed. So not only did I get punished with my ears on a homerish abs call, I also had to see the Preds lose their sixth game in a row, 3-1 to the Colorado Avalanche Saturday night inside Ball Arena, inside Denver, Colorado. Six losses in a row, that's a season high. Two losses away from tying a franchise record set way back in the 2012-2013 lock-in shortened season. We're treading in very dangerous waters here, Preds fans. Nobody on this roster showed up tonight. Well, maybe Soros, but that's it. You're the much more desperate team. You're lower in the standings. You've got an Avs team on the other side that doesn't have Nate McKinnon or their captain Gabriel Langerskog in their lineup. This game should have at least gone to overtime if you're going to give the abs that much rope, but you really should have won it in regulation. There is just only so many ways I can describe this futility that this team is going through right now, but I will try my best yet again, game 29 of the season. 29 games, like I said just now, to start the season with no shutout recorded by the goalie in net. That is now just seven games away from moving into a tie for third for longest drought to start a season without recording a shutout. First period was probably the best for the Preds tonight. They came out strong. It was a pretty even game, but they outshot the Avs 10-8. So you thought, oh, maybe tonight's the night they break the streak. Not when your power play continues to struggle like it does. It's the second worst in the league right now, and it went 0 for 2 tonight. And you definitely need a power play goal now and then to counteract a uh, defending Stanley Cup champ at home when you know they're probably going to pot one, and they do, after initially hitting the post, Miko Renan, who is basically the offense on the abs right now without the two players I mentioned out of the lineup, after hitting the post, Miko Renan puts it past Charles, putting the abs up 1-0, a lead that they wouldn't relinquish for the rest of the game. At least the abs know how to have a zone entry, how to score on a power play, but some would say with the Preds, oh yes, it's not the system's fault that they're not converting. Six minutes left in the second period, Ryan Johansson loses a puck battle to all-star defenseman Kale McCart, and instead of trying to take the body on him, he takes a useless, stupid hooking penalty that would get him punished with being benched for almost half of the third period. Oh, where have I seen that before earlier this week with Matt Duchesne? Correct me if I am wrong. Yeah, it's the player's fault partly, but it's also the messenger behind the Preds bench. Fortunately for the Preds, in that instant, they wouldn't be scored against. And the Avs would be sure through the second half of the second period and sprinkled throughout the third to remind their fans on their broadcast, hey, don't count this Preds team out. They're desperate. Ba -da 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 -da. It's the same thing I hear game after game regurgitated by Preds broadcasters, reminding fans on social media, hey, this team has been through a lot. While they're not showing me very much or this fan base right now for the people who spend their hard-earned money going to Bridgestone at 501 Broadway. Under 20 seconds left to go in the second period. Preds lackadaisical just trying nonchalantly to get out of the second period with just a uh, one goal deficit, but the Avs make him pay on a turnover and it goes the other way on a two on one and Alex Newhook, he makes no mistake because he actually works his butt off much like the rest of his Avs teammates, puts it back Soros. It's two nothing Avs after two. Shots are now 20 to 18 for the Avs after 40 minutes. The Preds in no way controlling any aspect of this game. Three minutes into the third period. Oh, look who finally decided to show up. Mr. I will score goals in the third period that may end up being nothing or take another stupid penalty to 
allow the other team to tie the game or, or waste away a win like he did numerous times. I'm looking at you, that LA win that we should have had that we lost in a shootout. Matt Duchesne scores his seventh of the season. Definitely vastly underperforming what we expect out of him after he set such a high benchmark last season. Preds cut the lead to 2-1, but still, I told Preds friends on social media, and most of them agreed we were not at all excited or thinking that the Preds would come back to win or at least tie this game. As it was, five shots on goal in the third period that you are trailing halfway through it. That's an excellent strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it works, which it won't. This team is so discombobulated that they can't carry the puck out from their own defensive zone late in the game to try and pull Soros. No rush from the defenseman. No proper zone entry. They don't get Soros pulled until well under 90 seconds left. Running out of time here, guys. No urgency. No desperation from this roster. It's clear to anybody who probably watches them on TV or is stuck listening to their radio broadcast. Kale McCarr outworks, gets control of the puck from inside his own blue line. From inside his own blue line, he's able to toss it nonchalantly towards the empty net and put this game away, a game that the Preds really never had any chance in. You could tell by their effort. Abs win this game 3-1. 1-2-3-4-5-6-7-8-9-10-11-12-13-14-15-16-17-18-19-20-21-22-23-24-25-26-27-28-29-30-31-32-33-34-35-36-37-38-39-40-41-42-43-44-45-46-47-48-49-50-